Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody just sent me this email, and they want to remove the city, and they're saying the virtual segment delete key deletes the whole thing. It's because it's joined together. So whenever you look at something like this, you want to look at it. Some people would call it wireframe. I don't like using wireframe, so I'm just going to left-click the fill and right-click the red outline. So this is actually a 500 point, and it doesn't matter on that. And this is why it will not delete because these lines are connected. So there's a lot of ways we could do this and probably the easiest and most correctly would be to just draw a line, not necessarily having to worry about where it is. And then we're gonna take the virtual segment delete key. Whoop, I grabbed a line. Just take the virtual segment delete key and just wipe through there and it's gonna delete all that. Now we can delete everything, whoop. See, if we delete this, it's gonna delete, delete part of the bridge that we need. Now, and you could have, I could have got my lines closer, but I'm gonna show you what we can do right here. We are going to look at it, when well, we need to break it apart. Whenever you can't see the nodes, it's because it's grouped together, so let's ungroup it, and then we can see our nodes. So I'm gonna take that node right there and I'm gonna just join it. Now I can take my virtual segment delete key and I could have done this from the very start, but I wanna kind of show you a little trick maybe. So we're just gonna, I actually hit it and deleted a node. You wanna put that node right on top of it so we'll not delete the rest of it. Now we're gonna fix those in just a second. But let's go ahead and do them all. Grabbing the shape tool, let's just bring this node into here. And we get that, and we can actually probably delete that. And we just got a couple more. And this one, we could actually take this node all the way to here. And then we could just delete all this extra stuff. Now, we've still got some broken nodes, and, and um, whenever you have something like that, you can... I'm gonna delete all those, I'm gonna delete all those nodes and I'm gonna bring a new line in. And we've got a double node there, we can try deleting it. Now, it's pretty good, but we need to smooth it out. And there's a couple ways, if, you, if you're fortunate enough to have X7 or above, you can use the smoothing tool, but also we need to join these two nodes. So I'm gonna select them both. I'm gonna to go to Windows, Dockers, join curves, my tolerance is set pretty low, and it joined those that, those nodes. Now I can actually delete that node and look how much straighter it got. So we could do that at all these points. You want them, you want them joined, I'm selecting both of them, and it just made one node out of it, but you can still delete that node to get a, a crisper line. Now what I was saying about the smoothing tool, it would help you smooth this out a little bit, Grab your shape tool up here and grab your smoothing tool. That's a little bit too big. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And you could actually type in the number because you don't want to change too much. Let's find a rough spot. Like right here. Let's grab the smoothing tool. Make sure you click on it and just smooth it out. Now in this particular case, I'd go back to the shape tool and delete maybe those two nodes and see what happens. They weren't joined together. So that was my problem. So we could do what we did before. This time we're gonna to have to shift select the other side and then redo them, get the, go to dockers, join curves. Should have left that window open. Now it's one curve again, one item. Then we can delete this node. Now I threw it off a little bit, but you can always take your handles and move it down a little bit. And the smoothing tool here again on this side. Make sure you're selected on it. And if you're happy with that, now, because we had some broken nodes, I would always take a rectangle and draw it around my item. Take your smart fill tool and fill it in. If it leaks, it won't leak past that rectangle. That looks pretty good. And then if you're gonna cut this out, you can left click, right click, but then make sure it's a hairline. 
And there you go. The bridge with the city gone. Hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.